Okay, so I wanted to record this Meridian flip in case it fails to work properly again. Um, so basically, um, it's waiting um, 30 seconds more to do the flip, and then it'll recenter on the target and uh, start auto guiding again. Um, but see, basically, uh, the scope is at its apex on one side, um, so uh, it can't go any further that way. So it's got to flip the whole scope over to this side so it can continue without uh, hitting, basically hitting the tripod. Um, so we'll see what it does. Now the last three times I've tried to do an auto flip, it didn't work properly and it, oh, there it goes, it's flipping now. It wouldn't recenter on the target uh, and I could never get back onto the target properly. So we'll see what this flip does. Hopefully it'll get back on target. It's flipping all the way back over to the end of the other side. That way it can come back this way. Okay, so now it's done flipping. Um, software, it's letting the telescope settle. Now it will uh, recenter onto the target and plate solve to make sure it's uh, exactly in the same looking in the same position as it was before the flip once it um, once it figures out that it's in the right place then it'll select a new guide star for the auto guider it'll start the auto guider back up let the telescope settle for a few seconds and then it'll begin um, taking images again so yeah. sorry about the glare uh, I guess since that flip is done I can Turn this off. Okay, so now it's plate solving. Um, basically, it's checking um, a database snapshot of that place in the sky to match up where the stars are um, to see if the telescope is pointed at the right star position that it should be for this target. This usually takes a few minutes. Um, depending on how quickly it uh, it plate solves. So this laptop's old, so it kind of, it's a little slow in plate solving. Hopefully this goes well. I have not had a successful Meridian flip yet out of the three before this that, um, that I've tried to do. So uh, we'll see what it does. Hopefully it all goes well. So far tonight's been a perfect night, so a perfect meridian flip would be icing on the cake at this point. I'm almost done with my imaging session anyway. I've got, what does it say, 77 out of 100 left in my light frames. And then I have to do 30 dark frames. And then I have to do... Um, uh, 50 flat frames and 25 or 30 um, dark flat or bias frames. Those are all calibration stuff, um, which I'm not going to go into detail here because it's a lot, whole lot of explanation and stuff. So. Oh, that one actually worked. Cool. Okay, so now it's re, uh, it's lining back up to the target now that it knows where it's at. And it'll center the target in the in the image frame. Plate solve again until it's perfectly centered up. And once it's perfectly centered up, then it'll resume guiding and start imaging again. See that warning went away, but the errors don't go away. It's a bunch of crap. I don't know. I'm on a really really old version of Nina, so I probably need to update, but I can't because. Nina, the newest version, like 2 point whatever, um, doesn't support Windows 7, which is what my laptop is on. So for now, I've got to be on version 1.10, I think. It's fine. This version works great. Okay, this place off should work. Okay, that worked. Now it's picking the new guide star. Resuming auto guide. Oh, 
Come on, pick a new star. There we go. Guiding's back up. Let the telescope settle and get back to movement. All right, and now it's doing um, imaging again. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that took a long time and it almost didn't work, but that was a successful meridian flip.